Hi everybody and welcome to this week's blog. Well, we're still getting some results coming through from the uh, law of attraction experiment uh, that I wrote about a few weeks ago. Uh, the latest one is a young man who's been struggling for quite a few years to find his dream job. Well, he followed uh, the recommendation to write an email to himself predicting the future and sure enough on one day he was offered two jobs so then he had a tough choice to make but he's already started work and um, from what I've heard it's his dream job and it's going really well so um, congratulations to him. Um, so uh, law of attraction it's a strange one. Um, how and why does it work? Well I suggested that it might be something to do with quantum theory and I suggested that with some trepidation because frankly I don't really have a clue. But the good news for us is that you don't need to understand the reason, you just have to believe that it's possible and wait and see what happens. So um, that's not good enough for some people because they said to me, now come on Steve, explain how quantum theory is wrapped up in law of attraction. So I did some research, many hours of it actually, and I came to the conclusion that it is way beyond my understanding. So um, after several headaches I decided that was enough. But I was able to understand at least a few of the elements of quantum theory and so that's what this blog is going to be about and maybe some of the next ones too. So the one this week is um, about this word entrainment. And it's an interesting story. The uh, word was coined by a Dutch physicist in 1665 because he liked pendulum clocks and he had two of them mounted on his wall and he would swing the pendulums so that they were beating um, out of phase with each other and when he came back the next day on every single occasion he found the pendulums were, singing, uh, were swinging synchronously. Now he didn't know why this was so and uh, to this day nobody is really sure why this is so although there are a few theories but one way or the other energy is being transmitted from one clock to the other and vice versa as if they are speaking to each other and it's not just pendulum clocks cuckoo clocks on a wall will do exactly the same thing. Now of what um, interest is that to us? Well, possibly quite a bit, because we see entrainment in nature too. We see that the breeding cycles of animals and birds in particular, and possibly human beings, are synchronized by various things. Often it's a light, or light at the right time of day, or when does dawn break, things like that. And it's possible that even in humans there is some synchrony going on uh, with sleep patterns and breeding cycles too. And it's not just uh, with animals that uh, entrainment occurs. Let me give you an example. Um, the Millennium Bridge in London was opened, guess what, to celebrate the millennial in the year 2000 and it was immediately closed down again because when people walk across a bridge they tend to fall into step with each other and this then sets up a resonant wave and um, if the bridge can resonate with this wave, it's at the same frequency, it could, in theory, um, fall down. Well certainly the Millennium Bridge swayed a lot and um, had to be considerably strengthened. Now um, soldiers have known about this for many years and when squads of soldiers uh, approach a bridge they are told to break step, that is that means to stop marching because they don't want the bridge to start vibrating in time with them. And the same thing happens to audiences. When you listen to music, you know, you, the foot tapping and the finger tapping in beat with the music is an unconscious thing and almost always happens. Uh, when there are long periods of applause, the applause will take on a rhythmicity or synchronicity. Uh, it's, it's almost as if this is a natural law of things finding order out of chaos or out of random events. Now interesting, what does this have to do uh, with personal development and with mind blocks and with law of attraction? Well there's also a concept of neural entrainment and that means that the, our brain waves can become synchronized um, and there are four main types of brain waves, alpha, beta, um, delta, and theta. 
and it is the delta waves and the theta waves that are the most important for memory and higher cognitive uh, thinking, thinking and reasoning. And of course, these are the brain waves that people who practice meditation try to promote. And it is the other reason why meditation machines are becoming increasingly popular. These meditation machines all work on more or less the same principle of um, a set of earphones and glasses that flash colored lights at you. And they do it at particular frequencies and you can even dial in what frequency you want and that will promote the uh, synchronization of the delta and theta waves and hopefully make your brain a lot more coherent too. So uh, the word uh, synchronicity has come up quite a lot in this blog as regards entrainment and it wasn't so many months ago that I wrote a blog and made a video about Carl Jung and his rather curious views about synchronicity. Just to remind you in a nutshell, Carl Jung basically said that, there, that he actually coined the word synchronicity and it related to his concept of a collective unconscious, that there is something out there bigger and greater than us that in the right circumstances and with the right training we can learn to tap into. So ending this blog I just wonder if that might be one possible explanation for the law of attraction. If it is then uh, what uh, can you do about it? Well you could learn how to meditate. There are plenty of classes in your area wherever you are and uh, normally they're not terribly expensive and it is a gift for life that will last for life. I learned meditation at the age of 21 and it was one of the very few smart things that I did at that age but I'm glad that I was sensible at least, at least for a time. Okay don't know what it's going to be next week. Uh, I'll try and find some interesting stuff for you. Obviously I want to hear your success stories so send them in to me and um, until then have a wonderful week and I um, be careful crossing bridges. Make sure you're out of step with everybody else. But may everything else in your life be highly synchronous and bring you more health, wealth and happiness than you can possibly endure. Good luck.